It was Roman philosopher Marcus Tullius Cicero who once said, It is our special duty that if anyone needs our help, we should give him such help to the utmost of our power. That quote never held as much validity as it did on February 2nd, 2010 at the Sound Academy, where over 2,000 people opened their hearts and wallets for Toronto Place for Haiti. In tandem with UNICEF and 102.1 The Edge, a star-studded cast of performers which included the likes of Maestro Fresh West, Di Mannequin and Il Scarlet took the stage and performed. Current Argonauts players Obed Seytout and Ray Fontaine made appearances at the event, along with former Argos greats Damon Allen and Mike Pinball Clemens. And according to Seytout and Fontaine, a night where all types of influential people can come together for a great cause is something to be revered. Uh, you know what? Um, anything that we can do. Um, I think it's even past being an athlete. It's about being you know, a, a human being. And uh, when people are in need uh, you know, to, um, to come out, uh, the way uh, Canadians have, but the way you know North Americans have, and to reach out to uh, to uh, to Haiti is, I think, is phenomenal, and I can't thank them enough. Well, um, the motto for Haiti, Haiti is um, strength through, through unity, and having a lot of people, artists, uh, professional athletes, coming together for an event like that is um, is quite amazing, and the fans are also involved as well, and um, that's. That's to me something that you can describe better. Both Fontaine and Seytoud had family in Haiti when the natural disaster occurred and are still finding it difficult to cope with the harsh realities that followed. Um, it's kind of hard to deal with it, to cope with it. Um, every single day, um, it's still on my mind. Even though my immediate family is fine, they, don't, they had time to leave the buildings when it happened, so they had, only had minor injuries. But um, as far as friends, and um, my whole, my people, Haitian people, a lot of people passed away, and they're like brothers and sisters. Uh, you know what? I, immediately, you know, I thought about my aunts and uh, uncles who are in Haiti, specifically who are in Port-au-Prince, and uh, you know, I just uh, try to get a hold of my mom, make sure that uh, you know she was uh, all right and on the phone, trying to get a hold of everyone. And uh, it was just actually recently, maybe a couple days ago, that I finally heard from my. Uh, Godfather and uh, my my uh, godmother and an uncle who are uh, you know who are well but are, their homes are have uh, severe, uh, con had major damages but um, they are out of their home sleeping on tents and whatnot but you know they you know they're in need of a lot of uh, basic supplies. TSN broadcaster James Sobolski and Edge radio personality Darren Pfeiffer spearheaded the event coordination and it all began with a phone call just ten days ago. Well, I mean, obviously, the biggest the biggest reason is probably because of the biggest human tragedy in, in our lifetime. And um, a little over, that happened three weeks ago, and, and about two weeks ago, I made a phone call to Darren Pfeiffer from 102.1 The Edge and drummer extraordinaire from Goldfinger. And uh, Darren and I got talking about wanting to do something to help. And uh, within, Darren started making calls and what started off as a smaller idea quickly got turned up to 11. And uh, all of a sudden, Darren started calling bands and, uh, and called Zeke Myers over at Sound Academy. And Sound Academy suddenly said, we have this venue. Come on. And uh, we can do something. And suddenly when we had a venue, uh, Il Scarlet said, we can play. And Il Scarlet came on board, the Trues came on board, suddenly Maestro Fresh West was on board, Di Manikin and so on. And, and, and they told two friends, and they told two friends, and all of a sudden we had this amazing lineup of Canadian bands and athletes that wanted to come on board as well. And it's amazing to think that in 10 days, here we are tonight with uh, what should be an amazing night to help UNICEF and their frontline effort with Haitian Relief. 
Well, actually, it was you, Edge 102.1 and James Sabolski from TSN that basically called us and said, you know, we've put this night together, we've called the artists, they're all on board, and, you know, we want to donate the proceeds to UNICEF. And so UNICEF was really kind of came on after they decided to donate to us. And so it was great for us. We can come out and, you know, promote UNICEF and talk about what the work we're doing in Haiti is. So... Now, how important was it for you guys knowing that UNICEF was their number one choice to be affiliated with this night? Oh, well, I mean, it's amazing. Really, the the event like the event and the actions that everyone's taken and the support that all of the artists have had for UNICEF and to come out for to support Haiti really is just it's amazing. It's a very humbling experience actually. For every dollar spent by Torontonians on this night, the Canadian government has offered to match and give directly to UNICEF to ensure it gets to the people in Haiti who need it most. This is just one of many efforts not only in Canada but globally to help the people of Haiti dwell upon what they are to gain as opposed to everything they have already lost. Reporting for Argos TV, I'm Adam Orico.